Hi, welcome to another video on the David Sparks collection. Click here or down below or click around here somewhere. If you haven't seen a previous video I've done on an amazing component collection from a guy named David Sparks. Now I managed to score some of his um, stuff here, not electronics components, but miscellaneous hardware stuff. And I thought I'd do a video just taking a look through some of it, because it can't be all of it, trust me. Uh, we'll just look through some of these tins and see what he's got here, oh, what I now got for a whopping 30 bucks on eBay. Unbelievable. Uh, apologies up front for any video or audio quality. I'm shooting this down here in the EEV blog bunker where I've got all this stuff stored. So it's very echoey. The light here is very minimal. So eh, bear with me, please. But I count 332 coffee tins. These are Jarra coffee tins. Uh, uh, you know, coffee and uh, I don't know if he actually um, drank all the coffee from these or he managed to get them. Anyway, he's labelled each and every one of these 332 tins, all with different stuff and I've, I've only looked in literally a couple of them. So I'm going to actually open them now, see what's inside. Now, the amazing thing about this is that all these parts, I believe, aren't new. They've been salvaged from all of his years of taking gear apart and things like that. So everything with you know nuts and bolts and spaces and everything else, well, probably the majority of it, I'd say, is probably going to be salvaged. So let's go, let's take a look at this amazing collection. And if you don't believe there's 332 tins here, well, you can count them for yourself. Check it out. We've got uh, 12 across by nine deep, plus a few extras down here. So yeah, at my count, that's, yeah, almost a shame it's not 333. What a bummer. Completely random here. I've got these eight ones which were sitting down the side here. So let's have a look. Um, 357 series pan head. Let's take a look. There we go. Look at all that. They, they look actually pretty new. Awesome. Two-part nylon chassis clamps. What? They've been salvaged from... I don't know. Have they been salvaged from something? Yeah, perhaps. Cheese head pan hex socket. Oh, yeah. Actually, we're, we're doing okay. There's not many in there. But, uh, plastic grommets. So just a couple of miscellaneous plastic grommets. Got all the trouble to label this tin just to put a couple of plastic grommets in. Anyway, um, well, you got to you know, consider the future. Collar clamps. Let's have a look. These are, uh, yeah, these are, yep, yeah, you can tell these have uh, come out of uh, gear. So they would hold uh, caps, you know, large caps and uh, things like that in place. Uh, 357 series uh, bugle head. Wow, oh, look at that. There, see, I no idea. They look new. Oh, no, there's a few smaller ones in there, things like that. Two-part insulating blocks. There you go. They've obviously, he's obviously got those out of, I don't know, something. And Beale Pritchett brass threads. I had never heard of Beale Pritchett brass threads, but obviously, look, there's, he's salvaged those from something. Awesome. And the next eight random, well, eight sort of happens to fit in the shot here. Collar clamps. Ta-da, more of those. So, yeah, fantastic. Cambric sleeves. Ooh, look. Look at that. That's interesting. Look, yeah, so he's, uh, they're obviously used, chopped up. Co oh, that had a funny smell in it. More collar clamps. Nylon hole plugs, friction fit. <laughs> look, so where the hell has he gotten those from? He's obviously gotten those out of some specific gear and thought, yeah, I'll keep those, no worries. F square feet. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Like, why would you keep those? That's just like, ah, uh, that's crazy. Like, you know, I'd you know, toss those straight in the dumpster. That's ridiculous. Metal hole plugs. Look, look at that. Unbelievable. Brackets, sheet metal. Omega cross section. Oh yeah, look. That's, there, it is an Omega cross section. The ohm symbol, Omega. Rubber, round, medium, black. All these rubber feet. Oh, look at that. 
more just miscellaneous hardware and mechanical. Yes, they are all like uh, sorted into different categories. So there's mechanical, there's hardware, there's screws, threads and feet and all sorts of stuff. So we've got nylon snap bushings. Wow. Wow. Look at all those nylon snap bushings. That's chocker. There's some Ziplocs in there. Probably uh, Ziploc ones that come from the same thing. Mechanical rods. Check it out. Look at that. All these mechanical rods of all different shapes and sizes. Wow, you know, that's a that's a keeper if you're into you know jewelry making little one-off robots or something like that. And oh gosh, shelf pins, um, drawing <laughs> drawing pins. All right, uh, pulleys, mechanical pulleys and things. Just a couple, you know, yeah, like you you know you pull apart printers and stuff like that. You'd get those um, mechanical guides. Mechanical guides. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And more rubber grommets. Let's have a look. Crikey! Look at that. Wow, that's insane. That is insane. Anyone need a rubber grommet? Yeah, tip those out and you might find one. Jeez, mechanical collars. Look at all that. Let's look at some screws and uh, fixings and things. So self-tapping unsorted. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Assorted self-tappers. Jeez, you couldn't find what you wanted in there. You weren't trying. Metal pan head, metal threads. Just, you know, all miscellaneous ones. All obviously salvaged. Screws, metal thread, unsorted. Crikey. Look at that. Wow, that's just insane. Like, are they all, like, they're not even all like M3. They're just different, uh, different sizes. Unbelievable. Pan head. Metal through it. There we go. Some nice uh, Phillips and flat head mixed. Suction cups. <laughs> we got a couple of suction cups. So, yeah, you've got to go to all the effort to get a coffee tin. Um, it looks like these coffee tins are used. Look. Look, oh, I may, well, maybe not. No, that's just that, sorry. Yeah, that's maybe just from the lid opening and closing like that. But uh, is there any residual coffee in there? Try to smell it. Yeah, the rubber's masking the smell. I don't think so. So I think he probably didn't uh, uh, drink all this coffee. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, blank head square shank. Jeez, look at those. Unbelievable. Oh, that's heavy. Cap head, hex socket. <laughs> Struth. Wow, unbelievable. It's a shame that they're not all sorted though. Yeah, you can find the one you're after, but you know, if you need like four of the same, yeah, pretty screwed. Wow, <laughs> screwed? Yeah, pun intended. Wow, it was just crazy in defeat. Look at this, you know, adhesive. Oh, hello. That looks like some packets. Maybe there's some new, but no, look, some of them are just old crap. Ones, I mean, you know, without the adhesive on them, plastic feet. Look at, oh, look, instrument feet. So he's obviously taken those off. You know, some scope. That's a uh, that's a uh, power cord wrapping um, thing. So you know, salvaged some vintage gear and kept all these plastic. <laughs> oh wow, look, look, that's just. Oh, I can't even get that back in. Oh no, rubber, round, large, huge feet like that. Unbelievable plastic bolt mounts. Wow, jeez, crazy. More for, from the couch, from a used couch. Like, why? Why? It's got two tins of couch feet for couches, just in case I have to replace a feet on my, uh, you know, a foot or feet, plural, on my couch. More miscellaneous stuff. Extension springs. Wow, look at that set of springs. Woo! Yeah, handy if you just need like a single screw, like you know, like uh, like having a spring drawer in your parts um, uh, collection, for example, very handy. Brackets, oh my goodness, look at these. Oh damn, I'm not going to fit those back in properly. Spindle pressure plates, what the hell a spindle? Ah, oh, right. Spindle pressure plates. Nylon quick release snap fit. There you go. Brackets, sheet metal brackets, L form brackets. Yeah, I will never get those. Never get those back in. Yeah, no, I got no, no. Oh, 
mounts, ribbon cable, snap fit. What? Like ribbon cable for holding down ribbon cables. Unbelievable. Supports, key slots. Oh, look, PCB supports. There you go. Look, nice. Washers. Oh, that's heavy. Small. <laughs> Small flat washers, anyone? Small flat washers? Well, I'd love to show you the rest of them, but look, there's 332 of these tins. We've only gotten through like a couple of dozen. Oh, unbelievable. Anyway, it gives you, I think it's a reasonable uh, cross section of what's here, but I literally have not looked at all the ones under here, but uh, from when I actually saw the collection when it was on the big uh, display stand, here's some photos, uh, by the way, of uh, what it originally uh, looked like, how he had them uh, installed in his uh, garage on the shelves. So it's just incredible. Like, most of this stuff, as you saw, is salvaged from gear. Just, like, how many decades of taking apart gear, putting them in all these coffee tins, labelling each one. It's actually amazing because all the labels seem to have been, like, done at a similar time because they're all exactly the same font, uh, like, on exactly the same uh, paper, everything else. So, you know, like, it makes me feel like he's gone through and just, you know, done it in one hit or, you know, like maybe done it all in a year or something like that. It's not like, you know, he's done it over the last 20 years because it's likely that you're not going to be able to, you know, print out exactly the same labels over that period of time. Maybe he's relabeled them or something, went through and relabeled his entire collection. That's what his other collection of electronic parts was like too. It looked like they'd all been like labeled on the same day. And this is a similar sort of thing, but I'm just... Wow, what do I do with all this? I mean, you, you know, you can't sell it, you can't go along. Hey, psst, hey, buddy, you want to buy some nylon cable fittings? These are, are free twist rings. <laughs> Good price, mate, no worries. You know, like, what are you supposed to do? Sell this crap? Uh, toss it out? It's like, uh, and I, I would have to index it all to see everything that's there. And by the time you come down, well, I've got to come down to the bunker, maybe some of it, like, you know, uh, basic stuff like, uh, you know, your main um, you know, screws and things like that, screws, nuts, washers, all that sort of jazz, you know, stuff that you're always using all the time. Yeah, I'll probably take those back to the lab. What I'm going to do with the rest of them, all your nylon standoffs and your PCB supports and all your rubber parts and bloody couch feet. I mean, give me a break. They go straight in the bin. That's, that's just ridiculous. So 330, I haven't even looked. Like, that's all I've looked through. Yeah, the couple of dozen that we had there. That's, like, that's it. That's all we've just looked through then. So I've got no idea what's in the rest of these. So I got no idea what to do with the rest of this collection and it's all it's all pretty yucky on top like you know spider webs and dust and crap and all sorts of bloody rat droppings or something after you go wash my hands. You know it was out in the garage and it all, there were some cobwebs over like the upper parts of the shelves and things like that but anyway that's just a quick look at this collection from David Sparks from his home workshop. So imagine the amount of time and effort that went into just this, let alone the electronic parts. If you haven't watched that video, link it in. As I said, go watch it. Absolutely amazing, one of the world's biggest. And uh, if it's not the world's, probably not the world's biggest, but one of the most meticulously sorted collections ever, which uh, it's just crazy. And this is, this alone is crazy. 330 tins of just <laughs> stuff. It's just amazing that they're in tins. If they're all in like, you know, regular hardware, uh, bins, you know, drawers, things like that. You probably wouldn't think much of it, but it's just quite amazing. And he's put them all into exactly the same Jarrah coffee tins. They're all exactly the same. And there was a whole bunch of spare uh, Jarrah coffee tins there waiting as well. So, ah, uh, unbelievable. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that look at this. Catch you next time.